Edward and Stan are best friends. Edward lives with his wife, Leah, and Stan lives alone. Can you spot Stan's house? There's a love note on the fridge in the right kitchen. Therefore, Stan lives in the left one. Edward is furious because Leah cleaned his home office without permission. Can you spot five changes? Here they are. A lot of neighbors gather for Edward's garage sale. One of them is a robot. Can you guess who? This gentleman. Stan is visiting a food court and finds two similar bakeries. Can you spot five differences between them? Over here. What about these burger places? Can you find 10 differences? Here they are. Can you spot a mistake in this menu? Tuna isn't an ice cream. What about this coffee menu? Any mistakes? Free toppings have a price. Stan works in an agency that holds super secret investigations. They're looking for people with superpowers all over the planet. One day, an anonymous user broke into their corporate system where all the data was stored. Stan finds three suspects who are capable of such crimes and interrogates them. He asks only one question. What did you manage to find out when you stole the data? Billy says, I haven't done this kind of crime for 15 years. I don't want to go back to prison. Anna says, I was going to steal your data, but I changed my mind. You didn't have any valuable information. Nobody will believe in superheroes. And Liam replies, Bruh, if I committed such a crime, I would have covered all traces. Who's lying? Anna, she couldn't have learned the secret information without breaking into their system. Stan is visiting a fashion show. He received a clue that one of these models can be a robot. Can you guess who? The second lady. She has a USB outlet on her neck. The robot model, Nina, is very famous and nobody knows that she's not human. Stan invites her to his office. Nina confesses, I arrived from another planet to study human behavior. Unfortunately, someone recorded their secret interrogation and posted it online. Only four people were in the office at that moment. Stan questions them. Ryan, the cleaner, says, I was vacuuming the fifth floor and couldn't hear anything. Mia, the manager, says, I'm a huge fan of Nina, even though she's not a human. I would never set her up like that. And the guard, Billy, says, I didn't hear your conversation. I was watching a football match in my headphones. Who's lying? Ryan, their office is a four-story building. Nina invites Stan over for dinner. She lives in a big, circular house with a maid, a butler, and a gardener. Nina goes to her room to change. Suddenly, Stan hears her scream and runs to her. 
Oh no, someone broke into my safe and stole my diamond necklace. Stan interrogates the staff. The butler says he was organizing the library. The maid says that she was dusting the corners. And the gardener says she was watering the roses. Who is lying? The maid. She was dusting the corners, but Nina lives in a circular house. So there are no corners. Stan invites Nina to a fancy restaurant to refute rumors that she's a robot. Can you spot any mistakes in this menu? They confused pomegranate with meat. Stan leaves the table to wash his hands and returns in two minutes. Can you spot five changes? Here they are. Nina slips and falls on the floor. Now she needs to replace a broken fragment in her body as soon as possible. Stan takes her to a secret lab. They need to enter a three-digit code to open the door. He starts looking for clues and notices some tips written on the wall. But the last digit is erased. Can you help them crack the password? The digits indicate the points of intersections of the lines, so the last digit is 4. They open the door and enter a spacious hallway. A note on the wall says, Lab is behind the purple door. Can you help the guys find the purple door? The first door is wooden but it has an inscription and an arrow indicating that the purple door is on the right. The second door is painted blue and red, so it doesn't fit. Let's take a closer look at the third door. There is purple color under the layer of yellow paint, so the guys choose this door. Nina throws a party at her house and invites Stan. He receives an anonymous message. There's a werewolf among the guests. Can you find this person? The first lady is wearing very long nails, and the second guy has a heavy beard. But it doesn't prove anything. But let's take a look at the third lady. She's trying to hide her shiny yellow wolf eyes under her fancy sunglasses. In the kitchen, Stan meets three chefs preparing delicious meals. One of them is a criminal. Can you guess who? The third lady, she's adding glass fragments to the food. Stan calls the police and they arrest the third chef. She confesses that one of the guests, John, bribed her. He asked her to put glass in Stan's plate, but there are three Johns at the party. The officer asks one of them just one question. How do you know Stan? John 1 says, I'm a billionaire and I don't do interrogations without my lawyer. John 2 says, I came here to see Nina because she's my crush. I've never seen Stan before. And John 3 says, Stan and I went to the same college. I haven't seen him for many years, but today we met by chance. Who's lying? John 1. He's wearing a fake Gucci sweater. It's unlikely that he's a billionaire. The next day, Stan wakes up in a dusty basement. A creepy voice says that Stan can pass through one of these three doors. Behind the first door, there's a tank with crocodiles. Jungles full of wild animals are hiding behind the second door. And there's a giant blue whale behind the third door. It can easily swallow an adult human. Which door is more or less safe?
Stan should pick the third door. Whales can't survive without water. Therefore, it's not a threat. Stan returns to his office and finds out that someone has stolen the most expensive superhero costume from the lab. Only three people knew about this artifact and had a key. Mia, Billy, and Rose. Stan questions everyone. Mia says, I was feeling sick yesterday, so I went home. Billy says, I locked the office at 10 p.m. and carried my key with me. And Rose says, I carried out technical testing of the suit in the afternoon. After that, I locked it up and left. Who stole the costumes? <laughs> Mia. She's wearing a superhero costume under her clothes. Stan offers Mia a deal. If I write your exact weight on a piece of paper, you'll give the costume back. Mia agrees and gives Stan a piece of paper and a pen. In a minute, she returns the costume. How did Stan do it? Stan literally did what he said. He wrote the phrase, your exact weight, on the paper. Stan needs to find new investors for his agency. That's why he's meeting three people, and each offers Stan a deal. Mallory says, I used to have unique superpowers when I was little, but I didn't develop them. Now I'm old and rich, and I want to invest in your lab to help people like me. Cherry says, my parents left me billions of dollars. I want to invest in progressive projects. And Alfred says, Look, I can help you develop your agency, but I want to have a controlling stake and hire my own staff. One of them is a liar. Can you guess who? Take a closer look at Mallory's hand. She's a robot. Therefore, her story is a lie because robots don't age. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.